so how is everything going over in Greece right now? Right now, um, um we we have a uh, like a lockdown going on. The government not allowing everybody to go outside. Uh, like we, I go out like at least maybe once uh, once in five days or once a week to get to go get groceries. And uh, I actually went out today just to because it was a very very good weather today. So I had to go out and walk around a little bit. But yeah, it's been it's been crazy here. I mean. I mean, with everything starting in Europe, you know, and then heading over there and all that, but it's been it's been hectic here. But we're just trying to stay inside and just try to, uh, you know, wait for all this stuff to pass. So obviously, you're over there playing basketball. Exactly. How was your season going before it all came to a stop? <laughs> My season was going very good. Um, we we have made it to this um, round of 16 of the Champions League. It's a European league that we play in, and then we we were like third on our table in the Greek league. So we were doing good. So it was kind of a, of a, of a blow to the team that we, because we were still expecting to do more in the Greek league and before all that stuff started happening. So how did you find out that the season was canceled? The season actually is not officially canceled yet, yet in Greece. But all, but all the other countries canceled the season. Like officially they haven't because they're still waiting on the government and the judges to See how they're gonna play the pay the players and how all this other stuff. Uh, but then, but we heard it after we played. Uh, we went to Jerusalem to play. We went to Israel and then we came back, played one more game, and then the next day after that, everybody just everybody go home. You can't be seen in a public area. It just like it happened so fast. You know. I was about to say, did you have any time to think about possibly going home or anything, or was it just you know you had to yeah. stay there? Yeah, I was thinking about it, but I didn't know it was going to be this bad, you know. I was like, oh, why would I go home when I can just turn, I, I can maybe I'll just turn around and come back here. So I was like, okay, let me just wait maybe a week and see maybe, maybe it's going to go get better. Maybe they're going to find a vaccine for it or something like that. And before I know it, everybody's closing their borders. And then my girlfriend, my girlfriend, she came, actually came to see me because she played in she played, she played in Germany. She was um, a professional volleyball. She, she played in Germany. So as, as soon as she came here, so I was like, I'm just gonna stay here. If if she's gonna be here with me, then I'm just, you know, just stay here and just um, wait for all, all this stuff to pass. So what have you been doing to occupy yourself during all this time? <laughs> so my day goes. Uh, I woke. I woke. I sleep in. I try to sleep in. Maybe wake up at ten, sleep in, and then wake up right into my workout. I have a workout I have to do every day, every morning. I have to do. So it takes about two hours. So it takes. It's. it's I mean. Two hours, not that long, but then again, it's long. So uh, I do about, I do stretching for an hour, and then I do my workout. And then before you know it, it's going to be like 2 p.m. And then I just hang out, play a lot of video games. I play a lot of video games. And then um, watch EuroLeague games, watch, like, you know, do a little theme, watch about basketball. And then before I know it, it's going to be um, 9 at night, and then I go to sleep and do it over again. So, but so, my girl, my my girlfriend here, he just everything is easier. I I can't imagine being here by myself. And we're only going out once a week, and that would be crazy. But with her here, just like you know, two of us, just you know, hang around and just do a bunch of stuff. So you playing NBA Two K? What what are you playing? <laughs> actually, actually, I I'm terrible at NBA Two K. I play I play FIFA, and then I play we play The Last of Us. It's like a it's like a, like a shooting game. Like, it's kind of Call of Duty, but it's, it's called The Last of Us. That's, that's what she's actually playing outside right now. And I just play FIFA. I, yeah, I play FIFA. And, um, and then we do, actually, I forgot once, we do a lot of yoga. So we do yoga now, just trying to get some flexibility, so trying to stay active, you know, just at least three or four times a week we do yoga. Just. So what do you think about Muscleman and what he's been, been doing with the team? Yeah, yeah, I like the way, I, I like the whole spirit around it, you know, the whole, you know, enthusiasm about it, the whole passion about it. Like, he gets, he gets, every, he gets the, the state believing, he gets everybody believing, he gets his players believing, you know. And I feel like next year is going gonna to even be crazier. Like, I can't wait. If he can do this his first year, then you can't even imagine when he has more bodies and more experience and guys who are sitting in, who are sitting out, who are sitting out this year are going to get to play next year. It's going to be, it's going to be crazy. I can't wait. Plus, he has a crazy recruiting class coming in, and it's going to be, well, I, can't, I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait to watch it. Um, I saw a tweet that you had on, on Twitter about, you know, it was Team A and Team B for Arkansas. 
<laughs> Who do you think wins in that situation? Wow, Team A. Team A. They can't, you can't keep up with those guards. Mason Jones, um, Joe, and uh, Jason Seals, they're good guards. They're really, they're good guards. They did a bunch of stuff this year, but to keep up with Dusty, Jalen Bufford, and Daryl Macon, that's, man, they got a hands full, man. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. That's, but I would love, I wish there was a way we can see that, like, that matchup. Me going against Daniel Gafford, and then, uh, and then DT going against Adrian. I wish there was a way, but there's no way we can see that. But I love it's just like it's gonna be a very close game. It comes down, it's gonna come down to the second who makes the like big shot. That's what just I've been. I was talking to my girlfriend about it. I was like, man, I wish I could see it. It's like, who can see this? Who can play this game? You know, I, I think we'd all love to see that actually. <laughs> Jason, do you have anything? Hey, how much do you keep up with Bobby? Bobby, I'm trying to um, have him begin keeping up with him. I need to, I need to do a better job with all these um, different time zones and all that. But I can see that with his uh, social media and all that stuff, he's been doing good, especially for the for the state of New York. And the, I mean, he's always going to be doing good for the for the state of Arkansas. Uh, but last year we played in his um, celebrity All Star game. He was good. He showed up for the state for the for the, for the city of Little Rock. Like I love to see that. But uh, he, yeah, we. We we don't skip a charge that much, but yeah, he's doing it. he's doing great stuff. I can see that. With the eight hour time difference, how tough is it to communicate with people back here in the states, man? <laughs> so whenever I'm waking up, people are still asleep. So sometimes that's it, that, it's kind of it's kind of hard, but it's like communicate, especially with my like I have host parents there, so I have to wait to a certain time to do stuff. Like I wake up and I'm just waiting for them to wake up, kind of stuff. Like you know. If I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna call. If my, because I also have my brother back there, and he's just like, if I want to tell him something, I have to wait. Like, oh, I have to wait. Oh, he's still away. He's still asleep. He's still asleep. And then, whenever he wakes up, then he sees my message. You know, but it, it's kind of tough. But 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 I love it. I love the whole experience. What's the experience like playing overseas, Moses? I know you had everybody has aspirations of playing in the league, but you know you've been a pro for a couple of years now. What's that like playing overseas? Um, it's different, man. It's different from the NBA. It's different from NBA. It's different from college. It's, it's just like, you know, like the NBA mostly would depend on, you know, like athleticism and on all that. But in Europe, it's more of a, it's slow pace. And then it's more of like an IQ game. It's more of like understanding the game. Like to make it to the very top, you have to understand, you have to know the game. You have to, it's not just because you can jump high, you can dribble quick. You have to understand the game. So that, that, that's been a very good, like, learning experience. In my three years now, it's just like every every year, it's just like I, I get better and I get learning. I, I just learn more stuff as years goes by. There's a lot of you guys, former Razorbacks, maybe not that you played with, but former Razorbacks playing overseas. You ever run into any of them, play against any of them? Um, I played against – actually, the last Greek game I played was against Coach Jacory Williams. I know he transferred to Middle Tennessee. But, yeah, I played against Jacory the last uh, the last Greek game I played. And it was fun. It was just fun. Anytime I see anybody, I know, even though it's not a Razorback, he's always like nice, he's a familiar face. But yeah, I did play against Jacory Williams. I don't know whether you remember him from three years ago, four, like four years ago. <laughs> yeah, Jacory. Yeah, yeah, Jacory, yeah, yeah. Cool. I think yeah. that's it, yeah, man. I, I appreciate it. It's good talking to you. <laughs> well, thank you very much for having me.